Today let's work on related subtraction equations up to 10. Select the related subtraction fact for 4 minus 1 equals 3. So we know this is going to be a subtraction fact, so I'm going to click on scratch pad. We know it's going to be subtraction. In a subtraction problem, our total or our largest number always comes first. So that will stay there. And then we're going to switch the order of the other two facts. So 4 minus 3 equals 1. I can see 4 minus 3 equals 1 right here. Close that scratch pad. That's right. Next one, 4 minus 1 equals 3. Let's use the scratch pad again. We know our total is going to stay the same with that 4. We know we're still subtracting. We're going to switch the order of these two facts. So 4 minus 3 equals 1. Let's find that one. It's right here. So close our scratch pad. Nice work. Now we're going to select the related subtraction fact for 3 minus 1 equals 2. So again, our largest number, our 3, is going to stay in the total. Minus, we're going to switch these two around. 3 minus 2 equals 1. So let's find that. It's right here, so let's close that scratch pad. Super job. Now we have 3 minus 1 equals 2. Same thing as before. We're going to keep the 3 here. We're going to subtract a number, but we're going to switch these two around. So the 2 is going to go here. 3 minus 2 is going to equal to 1. Close our scratch pad and find 3 minus 2 equals 1. Super job. Now we're going to select the related subtraction fact for 4 minus 1 equals 3. Again, we're going to keep that total in the first place. We're going to subtract, and then we're going to switch these two numbers around for 4 minus 3 equals 1. Let's find it. Let's not get confused with the one that looks similar. We're going to do 4 minus 3 equals 1. That's right. Now we're going to select the related subtraction fact for 5 minus 4 equals 1 scratch pad here. Largest number, our total is going to stay first. Minus, we're going to switch these two around. So 5 minus 1 equals 4. Let's find the one that looks the same right here. Close that scratch pad and click it. Super job! Now we're going to do 4 minus 1 equals 3. Again, let's use that scratch pad to rewrite. 4 minus, switch these two around, 4 minus 3 equals 1. I see 4 minus 3 equals 1 right here, so close that scratch pad, click it, super job. 4 minus 1 equals 3. Again, let's keep our total as the first number, see? And then we're going to switch these other two numbers around, so 4 minus 3 equals 1. I see 4, oh, there's 4 minus 1. Don't get confused there. 4 minus 3 equals 1. So close this scratch pad. Nice work. Two left. 3 minus 1 equals 2. So we're going to keep that total the same. 3 minus, but switch our other two numbers. So 3 minus 2 equals 1. I'm going to look for the one that's exactly the same. Oh, nope, I don't want to get confused there. Almost tricked me. 3 minus 2 is right here. Close that scratch pad. Super. Last one. 3 minus 1 equals 2. So we're going to keep the total the same. We're going to switch these two. 3 minus 2 equals 1. I see 3 minus 2 equals 1 right here. Let's close that scratch pad, click here, and that's right. Nice job working on related subtraction equations up to 10.